If you don't seem to be getting anywhere with your anti-aging products and are noticing more wrinkles and puffy face, it could be the way you're sleeping that's behind it. Fortunately, there are five super easy ways to prevent wrinkles while you sleep, and I'm going to share what they are with you in today's video. Welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you're here. Today, we're going to be talking about how to prevent wrinkles on your face while you sleep. Sounds easy enough, but there are a few little tricks to it that you need to know for it to be effective. Now, believe it or not, these are some very effective steps that I'm about to share with you in the video. So don't skip any of them. Take a look at all of them and be sure to apply the ones or all of them that you feel will be effective for you. Now, no matter how much money you're spending on your skincare or how avid you are about your skincare routine, the way you sleep could just mess it all up. The reason is the way we habitually sleep, that's you, that's me, that's all of us, tend to create what's called dynamic wrinkles. And the reason for that is the way we sleep on our pillows tends to squish up, squunch up the skin of the face on an ongoing night after night after night basis. And then those dynamic wrinkles become static wrinkles. All that pressure on the areas of our face from sleeping in certain positions lead to the breakdown of collagen under the skin. And if you're over 30 or 40 or 50, like me, our skin just does not have the forgiving bounce back that it once did in our teens and 20s. Now you may be thinking there's not much you can do to prevent wrinkles from occurring while you sleep, but there are a few professionally recommended steps you can take that can really make a difference the very next morning. Now, if you happen to be new to my channel and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert. I've been doing skincare for 36 years. So if you've been looking for someone who can help you with your skincare questions and walks the talk, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Number one on the list is going to be the most obvious one, and then they get more interesting from here, and that is getting enough sleep a good night's rest on an ongoing consistent basis and believe me i know that is not easy for everyone it's something that i've had to really really work on the last several years because one i'm a night owl i like to stay up late i'm a youtuber so you know that i'm editing late into the night doing research for videos i had to really teach myself out of that and then of course we've got all those smart devices that we can use so it's not like i could just turn off the laptop and go to bed i had the smartphone i could do all the same things basically on my phone that i do on the laptop right from bed not a good combination and the reason getting a good night's rest every night is so important is that is your body's overnight sleep repair cycle that is the time where your body and your skin is repairing itself taking out the old dead cells building and bringing forward new cells. And that is why when we don't get enough sleep on an ongoing basis, we start to really look bad. That's those puffy eyes, sallow sort of looking skin, puffiness around the cheeks and eyes because the lymph fluid doesn't have a chance to drain away properly. So how much sleep do you really need? A minimum of six hours, eight to nine hours is optimum. I track mine here on my Fitbit. There are devices that you can wear that will track your sleep, let you know how well you're sleeping when you sleep, how many times you wake up, you get up, go to the bathroom, all those things that interrupt that good night's rest can help you manage and help you train yourself to sleep better. But it's not all in how long we sleep. It's also those positions that I was talking about that we sleep in. And obviously the easiest answer would be to sleep on our back, right? Well, I don't know about you, but I have a really hard time with that. I cannot do that all night long. I'm a tosser and a turner. I'm going to lay on my left side. I'm going to lay on my right side. I'm going to lay on my back for a little while. And so it's just not that easy for most of us to actually sleep in the same position all night long. The answer to this is a good quality, well-designed sleep pillow. And I've talked about these on the channel before, the one that I use, I mentioned it a lot in my videos. I talk about anti-aging at night. This is the Omnia Pillow by Sleep and Glow. I've reviewed it two or three times. The way these Sleep and Glow pillows work, as you can see, there's a cutout or divot on this side, a cutout or divot on that side, which is important when you're sleeping on your side, like I do either way, your face is protected against being squished up and smushed. Your face is protected from those pressure wrinkles that happen when we sleep flat on a regular pillow. Pillows like this are also well designed to help support the back and the neck if you sleep on your back. So no matter what position you're in, this type of pillow is going to work well for you. And I really like their brand. It's very durable. This one I've had for two 
almost two and a half years. I have two of these. I have one that I take everywhere I go when I travel. And while we're talking about pillows, let's talk about pillowcases because the type of pillowcase that you sleep on has a huge impact on your skin and how well your overnight skincare products that you wear, if you wear them, are going to work. Cotton pillowcases, think of cotton as wicking away moisture and product from your face. In other words, it absorbs it like a sponge, leading to extra dryness. The friction caused by cotton pillowcases on the skin is the big culprit behind those pressure marks and those dynamic wrinkles that occur when you sleep on a pillowcase like that. And cotton pillowcases hold sweat, dirt, oil, bacteria, as well as your skincare products, leading to a bacteria buildup that can lead to breakouts on the skin. So if you have acne prone skin, you really need to look at changing out your pillowcase to either bamboo, silk, or one that's designed to be especially antibacterial. Now this Omniglow pillow that I have, which is my newest one, comes with a copper pillow case. In other words, this pillow has copper threads woven into the texture of the actual material that allows you to sleep on it without that friction. It's very slippery and smooth like silk, combats moisture loss, and is antibacterial no matter how many times you wash it. Copper ions in this pillowcase do so much more than just help with the wrinkles. They're helpful to skin by also reducing inflammation and helping to speed up healing of any sort of rashes or leftover acne breakouts. This being one of my most important overnight strategies for anti-aging, I'm going to put a link down below in the video description box. You can go check out this pillow for yourself. And I believe at the time of this video, they actually have Black Friday pricing going on, so you can save some money on that pillow. But it really is such a cornerstone piece of my overnight anti-aging routine. Now, moving beyond how long we sleep, the positions we sleep in, the types of pillows and pillowcases we're using when we sleep. Of course, there's the all important steps of your anti-aging skincare overnight routine. Now that's a long stretch of words, but a lot of power in this step to improve your overall skin health and keep it looking youthful and beautiful. Number one in my list, and it's always included in my five must-haves for an anti-aging skincare routine is a good retinol or retinoid product. Now, personally, because of my age at 59, I'm using tretinoin, which is prescription strength retinoid or retinol. You can get over-the-counter retinols that are so amazing today. The formulas are effective, they're gentle, and they're buffered with other ingredients that help support that vitamin A derivatives work on your skin. And as I always say, there is not a topical that we have yet anyway, as strong and as effective as a retinol product is on anti-aging of the skin. It helps induce collagen production. It helps fade age spots. It helps speed up cellular turnover so newer skin gets to the surface sooner, eliminating fine lines and wrinkles. And it's relatively inexpensive. The one I recommend a lot is this one by Versed Skincare. It is a buffered Bacuchiol retinol hybrid. It works very well on all skin types, including sensitive. You always want to wear retinols at night anyway because sunlight breaks them down and makes them pretty much useless. And retinoids can make your skin more sensitive to sunlight. So you always want to use these at night with the extra step of super hydration for the skin. Now, a lot of you know this as slugging. I'm not a big proponent of using Vaseline for this because think about it, Vaseline on your skin, it's going to get into the material of your pillows, whether you use cotton or you use a sleep pillow. You don't want petroleum jelly in material. It's very difficult to get out. Luckily, there are many great alternatives for this slugging process, this overnight hydration mask that you want to use. One I just reviewed is the new one by Olay. It's packed with hyaluronic acid. Helps super hydrate, protect the skin, get your skincare products to work better by forming a cap on the skin like a mask. It's not a peel off mask, but it can go a long way to helping your skincare products work better and your skin look much, much more youthful and helping your skin look healthy and beautiful the very next morning. And one for every budget. Here's one by Burt's Bees. This is just a few dollars for this one. It works very, very well. It has prebiotics and avocado oil as its base. Again, very effective. And then there are the higher end versions of these. All of these formulas good. This one is Paula's Choice. It is Cloudberry and Rishi Mushroom. It's another one of my favorites. Very hydrating. Again, you would apply them before you go to bed wash them off in the morning and look for those results. And again, links to all of these down below in the video description box. But the bottom line here is there are several things you can do to really make a big difference in how your skin looks just by paying attention to the way you sleep and the steps in your skincare routine. The other important thing to note here is that the results of these 
steps show up so soon. Like the very next day, a couple of weeks out, you're going to really, really notice a difference. And it's always a great idea to take a selfie when you start these so that you have a basis of comparison as you move along through the days, weeks, and months doing something at night that can really help your skin look so much better. Now, I hope you found this video helpful today. If you did, please like it, share it out, and to learn even more ways to roll back that clock on skin and body aging, check out this video that's coming up next. Thank you guys for watching today and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you over on that next video.